everyone. Welcome back to Celtics Media Day. And we finally have Gordon Hayward <laughs> yes. joining us. Uh, Gordon, you went through this last year. Uh, what's this like going through Media Day again, getting ready for training camp starting tomorrow? Very right. quick turnaround. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm literally answering the same questions I, I did last gonna year. I was just going to ask that. Like, uh, I'm a new face coming to the team. <laughs> we went to the Eastern Conference Finals. How are you going to fit in? Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Uh, it feels good, though, to be healthy more than anything. So I'm really looking forward to just playing basketball again, and um, hopefully I can stay healthy again this year. <laughs> um, I, I want to ask you, a lot of people talk about you going down on opening night and missing the whole season. Yeah. But people don't talk about the fact that you did have a training camp with this team last year. Yes. So that foundation, like how much will that assist you as you look to kind of reintegrate yourself you know, starting tomorrow? Yeah, I think more than anything, just like uh, being around the guys, being around the staff, being around Boston as a city, like I'm just way more comfortable. Mm -hmm. So um, that's to me is really important when you're talking about a basketball team and building a championship caliber basketball team is having uh, some chemistry with the guys and just being more comfortable. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm over that part. So that's good. Kyrie said the exact same thing just a, l a little while ago. He's like, I, f I feel like I'm in a different place this year because yeah. everything was so new. Right. Um, when you add that all together with you and Kyrie, obviously two very important parts of this team feeling that way and then everyone else coming back for a second, third season, um, what do you think that creates in terms of an environment for you guys to start up tomorrow um, and the excitement and what you guys want to accomplish in the long run? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, hopefully we can – since we're past, you know, kind of getting to know each other like that part, we can just get right into getting the basketball side right. Um, there's still, you know, a lot of work to be done if we want to get to where eventually we feel like we should be able to get to, um, you know, and that work starts tomorrow. But, um, you know, I think it's after watching everybody, which I got a front row seat last year after watching the whole team, it's just very exciting with the depth that we have, the talent that we have. Um, you know, it, we can do a lot of things. Uh, to follow up, uh, Brad Stevens had said at his Teeing Up for Kids golf tournament, speaking about you and Kyrie kind of coming back, and yeah. when a player does go through you know, something like that with an injury, coming back they have more of an appreciation for yeah. the game, just the li even the little things, probably not picking up the marbles <laughs> right, with your right. toes. But I don't want to do that. No again. appreciation <laughs> for that. <laughs> Ty <laughs> said you absolutely hated that, too, so he, he reconfirmed everything. But I was definitely better than him <laughs> at it. <so. laughs> um, do you feel that in, in some way, Gordon, just the little things? Yeah, I mean, I think there's been uh, like a – like a passion refuel, like I went and uh, refueled from last, from, you know, this is going to be my ninth year, I believe, in the league. And so um, some of the stuff that you're talking about, you start to take for granted. Um, and when you can't do some of those things, when you can't run, when, you, you know, even just doing like a sprint test, doing defensive drills, um, all those little things, you know, I, w I was looking forward to doing because I haven't right. done them in so long. And, um, you know, I think I'm definitely looking forward to training camp. And that's something – you know, I probably haven't said since, like, well, last year I said it, too, because I was coming to a new team. Yeah. But before that, since, like, year one. So, uh, yeah, I'm well, excited. I, I can one-up that. Uh, Terry Rozier just said he was excited for media day. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No. He said that on live. He was just making you guys feel good. No, he said it. He said <laughs> so it. So how much do you hate media day? <laughs> oh, it's the worst. It's not a fun day, it's right? Worst Lots of, of pictures. The the same, the same questions no, over kidding, and over. Yeah. It's just, uh, for me, I've been talking about the same thing yeah. the whole day. So that – gets annoying but you probably just want to start too i do like, yeah been talking ready. about the same thing probably for four months i have been yeah yeah um offensively when you guys get out of the court you know what do you think you guys can accomplish and brad when he was sitting here earlier he said that's the side that this team really needs to improve upon yeah. um as compared to last season so what do you think you guys can do offensively this year well hopefully we can um, we have so many weapons. Like, hopefully, we as soon as the game start, we can just get rolling. Sometimes, you know, some of the – like, usually on teams, it takes guys a little – you kind of ease yourself into the game. Um, but we don't have to do that this year because we have so many weapons. So, um, you know, hopefully we share the basketball. Uh, we can play a little more up-tempo, get some easy looks. Um, but, you know, like I said, one through – whoever we put on, in on the court should make an impact. I think we're that good. And so I think that will really – you know, be able to hurt teams. Mm -hmm. And speaking about, you know, seeing a lot of those guys last season, you said he had a front row seat for the playoffs. But watching that, um, did that help you at all in terms of learning guys' tendencies, where they like the ball, things like that? Well, I think more than anything, it, it, it helped them from an experience standpoint. I think you can't teach experience. Mm -hmm. So for them to have that, especially when, you know, they're get, they had responsibility on their shoulders too, especially with Kyrie, Kyrie being out. 
uh, and, you know, I was out as well. Um, you can't teach those moments. Um, you could argue that they're more experienced than I am in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been to the first round, second round, and that was it. So for them to be able to have that uh, year two, year three. It's I haven't uh, thought about that. That's a very interesting yeah. thought. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's invaluable. So uh, I think that'll only help us out. There's going to be situations where somebody's going to get hurt, somebody's going to be sick, somebody's going to ha be have an off game. And when you have so many people that you can turn to to get a bucket or to make a big shot at the end of the game, like that's huge. We're going to go to Twitter really fast. We have Nick who wants to know, Gordon, how excited are you to play at TD Garden for the first time this regular season? Man, I am uh, beyond excited. <laughs> I uh, was I couldn't wait last season for that, and you know, unfortunately, we had our we had a road game for the first game, so I didn't even get to, you know, hear the crowd during starting lineups or anything like that. But really excited to play in front of you guys this year, and um, you know, it'll be it'll be so much fun. It, it, it would be awesome. Something tells me it's going to be pretty loud in there when I you're think it will be I think loud. so too. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gordon, we were kind of joking around with uh, how many little ones now that are on the team <laughs> uh, this off season. Are you going to be giving the the daddy's always happy gear to your teammates at all to maybe sport? Yeah, once I uh, yeah, for sure. Once I'm able to get some shipments, I'm going to be handing it out to to uh, the guys on the team. We have a lot of daddies, new daddies mm -hmm. on the team. Um, and so it's it's great gear. And it supports a good cause, right. so you know, check out the website, go buy some gear. Um, we'll definitely, all the daddies will be happy if we win <laughs> this year too. No, that, I, that is also. I, true. I was going to say, us. I really love that you're doing that, though, giving back yeah. portion of the proceeds to MSPCC. That's just well, that's yeah, that's very just special. the main, the main, uh, whoops, the main part of the whole thing is is giving back to you know younger parents that don't can't afford diapers, can't afford outfits, clothes, different things that babies need. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really important to me and my wife as well. And speaking on that topic, last season with the rehab and, and you know the injury, you weren't able to get out into the community probably as much as you wanted to. So how excited are you for the off the court uh, options that you have this season in Boston? Yeah, well, I was hobbling around there. Yeah, um, I'm. We did we did a uh, school. My wife and I did a school supply drive this last yep. weekend. Um, you know, we we did some hospital visits last year, but looking forward to doing some more this year and. Um, that's a huge part for me, and not just for me, but like I keep saying, my wife is really involved mm -hmm. with that stuff too, and uh, I think it's important for us to give back to the community, and it really is, is a fun part of the job for me, when, especially when you're able to work with kids and just to see the smile on their face, and um, being a father now, it just, you, you know, you really can feel that. Um, there's nothing better than when, you know, somebody runs up to you and they're just happy to see you, they give you a high five, and then they're smiling the rest mm -hmm. of the time, like that's, that's amazing. I uh, want to dart in a little bit of a different direction, but uh, the reason you wear number 20, Manu Ginobili, yeah. uh, retired this offseason. Just talk and about Ray what Allen, too. Yeah, and Ray. Um, Ray goes into the Hall of Fame. You've got Manu Ginobili retiring. But wh wh right. what, uh, what way did he inspire you and Manu and, and watching him play? Yeah, so um, Manu was the, just a competitor, and I loved the way that he competed out there. Um, I felt like he uh, wasn't like the most athletic player. Um, and that was something that I could relate to when I <laughs> chose number 20. I wasn't like the qu I'm not unath like yeah. unathletic, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but I just loved the way that he played. I loved the passion that he played with. He could do a little bit of everything too, which is what I tried to you know find in myself. He wasn't just a shooter. He wasn't just a, a scorer. He played defense. He's a really, really good passer. Um, and so I just, I loved you know, his game. And that's why I tried to model some of mine after that. Well, Gordon, thank you so much for your time. We can't. Thank you enough for uh, Thanks, hopefully yep. not all of that was repetitive from all the it other was, There were yeah. some new questions. All right, good. So. That's what we aim for, at least yeah. a couple. Yeah, that's right. exactly. Right. <laughs> and you haven't figured out uh, Jalen Brown's favorite candy yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> that I was one of the live stream I, yeah, questions. Yeah, right, I have not asked them. And they also wanted to know a lot on that the That was hair. the first thing my wife was like. She was, Robin was like, why did they ask you about Jalen Brown's <laughs> yeah. favorite candy? <laughs> we were like, yeah. It must be a thing or something. I don't does Jalen yeah. Brown does even yeah, eat does, candy? Well, does Jalen Brown know what his favorite candy <laughs> is? That might be a better question. You got to find out. Yeah. Report back tomorrow. I'll do some digging. All right. All right. Thank you so much, we'll Gordon. Tomorrow. Appreciate Enjoy it. Practice. All right. Always great to see you. Yes. All right, everyone. Don't